When it comes to House of the Dragon, episode 3 has certainly proved that when Damon arrives, things do go up a gear. As with this episode, we get our first major action scene with the slaughter in the Stepstones. I know we're going from back to front here, but that's one hell of a way to conclude an episode. And i got to say, Matt Smith, like he didn't even say a word, but he certainly expressed enough emotion to get exactly what he's feeling at every moment. We also get our first look at Leon's dragon, Sea Smoke. And of course, it's always cool to see a new dragon, but I do have to admit there was one moment which did prompt a uh, Turbo Man flashback. And there were a few shots where Damon didn't really blend into the background so well, but with those, you sort of notice them and just throw them away straight away because you're just enjoying what you're seeing on screen. And I know we didn't get to see the crab feeder being butchered on screen, but actually just seeing his upper half being dragged along like that by Damon, I thought was really powerful. There was actually quite a bit of blood and guts spilled in this episode, as earlier on we get to see a boar and a stag get killed. Oh, won't somebody please think of the and with each kill in this episode, they all have a different significance. With Renee continually stabbing that boar, it really shows that eruption of emotion coming out of her. With Viserys and his first attempt at the kill ending in failure, it really shows that he really can't get anything right at this moment in time. And you know, he's, he's a man which is he's just crumbling from the outside and the inside. And then with Damon feeling that undermining pressure from his brother, he had to do something, he had to react, and boy, did he get the job done. And as I said in previous episodes, I'm really enjoying the politics of this show so far. And with this one, we had a bidding war basically for Rhaenyra. We even got to see like Lannisters get involved as well. And it's been really interesting interesting to see how Rhaenyra has been responding to everything because you know this is a tough time for her right now you know she's having to deal with her best friend and her dad being together you know that's her family and a friend right there combining and it really makes her a lonely person and then she's being auctioned off to many different houses and different many random people she doesn't know about and you know she she's got a friendship with Sir Kristen but how far that will go I'm not sure of it I feel like he's more into it than her but we'll see if that develops any further in the next episodes and yet again any scene of Otto I just love it because I just see his little face and he's just reveling in the chaos that is unfolding in front of him. And staying with him, I'm intrigued to see how his and his daughter's relationship evolves over time because with Alicent, you know, she's there for Viserys, she's there for Rhaenyra, she's there to do exactly what her father wants her to do. And, you know, is she eventually going to break free from that and actually become her own person? It looks like next episode we're going to get yet another time skip. And I think once we get to the stage where the actors are swapped over, I think that's when the whole time hopping will calm down a bit. But in regards to this episode, I thought this was another entertaining entry, which has added a satisfying chunk of meat to the bone. Are you also enjoying this series so far? And if you have anything to add, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you want something else to watch on screen right now is our thoughts on the first two episodes of Amazon's The Rings of Power.